Welcome back to Fox 9 Sports Style. They're still here. They're still friends. <laughs> Mark and Gino Parrish here together. Uh, we appreciate you both coming in on a Sunday night. You probably have wild duties tomorrow afternoon. I, yeah, and Tuesday, as a matter of fact, in the next couple days. Yeah. So. And, and here was your one day off, yet you <laughs> stepped up like this. One day off. That's, that's all right. That's, I got to go flood the rink for Gianna later tonight, too. Oh, so. that's right. We got to get on that, too, one of these nights. We should do a show from back there one of these Ooh, nights. That dazzling. In. That or more notes. That's there what we well, yeah, that Ooh, big time means. That would be good. All right, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the changing of the coaches. Dean Everson gets tossed. John Hines steps in. You guys, I think, have been both through coaching changes throughout your career. Um, one, Mark, was this needed? And two, what has John done differently? 100% uh, it was needed. Uh, everything had gone flat. Uh, not necessarily Dean's fault. This just happens after hearing the same voice. Uh, and, and we can't thank Dean enough for what he's done. He's really instilled the identity of the Minnesota Wild, what Billy Guerin has, has, has expected or wants, excuse me, for this identity. But bringing in John Hines brings a fresh view, for a fresh look at it, and then mainly a fresh voice. And just little tiny changes can make a big difference. Obviously, we saw when he came in, he, he, he didn't change the systems. What he did is only maybe switch some lines around right. he's playing some guys a little bit more some guys are getting a better chance he's evening it out with if guys are going he's giving them an opportunity and I think everybody gains confidence through that and you could talk about we just talked about the top line and what they're doing right now so it's it's all about kind of pushing the right buttons you can look at look at Vancouver and what Rick Tockett is doing with the same lineup they had last year amazing. right it's amazing when you just hear that fresh voice you push the right buttons a little bit make a couple of changes where the old coach maybe was afraid to move Zuccarello off Kaprizov he's not afraid to make those moves and he's not afraid to make them instantly in game to make a difference that night not necessarily for later down the road all right uh, let's switch gears to what Brett Larson has done up at St. Cloud Gino and uh, <laughs> I'm glad that? you what was that? What was that? analyst Sorry. on uh, St. Cloud State <laughs> that's right you, right you might be involved in yeah, the a little bit of that little as bit. well you've been up there before Go Huskies, all right yeah. what about this team Gophers should be locked to make the NCAA tournament yeah. with what they've done big win at Notre Dame over oh. the weekend in overtime but what about the Huskies what do they have to do in these last few games Th they got to close out strong and they, and they just did this weekend they had a after that Christmas break it was it was a bit of a struggle but look at who they faced they faced Denver. They faced North Dakota. You have two top five teams, and then you go against Colorado College, who at the time in the standings was not there, but they got Umberco and Nutt. And this kid is, he, I mean, he reminds me so much of uh, Charlie Lindgren. The kid is just an absolute jungle cat. He is, he's all over the place. It, it's very difficult to get the puck past him. And he just proved that this weekend uh, versus North Dakota. However, St. Cloud State had to go against boom, 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 like right, three right, right <laughs> out of the <laughs> gates. And you know what? Each and every time, you got Moliner out with a little injury. You got Pierce, got a little upset stomach. You got some of your top players are just not quite playing, not at the level that they want to play, but they're, they're sick. They're, they are not quite 100%. And now you got Dylan Anhorn. I mean, you, you got Kupka. You got Mien and, and Peart. You have all these guys, Bassey in net. But, you know, I've been, I've been team Anhorn uh, for the <laughs> yes. last two years. Yep. This kid is an ab, he, he's a freak of nature. He, he right. really is. So you got him getting him to St. Paul. Let's talk a little bit it. about your new job, Acceleration Sports Academy. I love it. How does it work? I love it. Well, uh, first of all, it's weird calling it a job because <laughs> it's I'm, I'm still just training hockey players uh, for a living, which is w what I've done for, well, since I've been born, essentially. Yes. I, I played hockey, uh, worked in hockey, and then now train hockey and uh, ASA here. Uh, I work out of Plymouth. Randy Murphy, a good friend of mine, he uh, also played uh, throughout the leagues that I did for about 10 to 12 years, and he works the one out of Blaine. And we work with uh, the Map North group, which is, uh, you know, Blaine and Plymouth and Hudson. And they All got right. another one up in Albertville, St. Michael. And it's, uh, it's a great group. We train kids. How do they find you? And love it. How do they find you? Interweb. There's, there's, a, there's an interweb. I heard of that. I heard of that. Interweb, and you got a, uh, it's a googly thing. Googly, yeah. okay. I hear those. That's Google a cool place Google Acceleration to go. Sports yeah. Academy, and uh, <laughs> you it. have this going strong, Northland Vodka. Yep. Absolutely. Still rocking it. Still yep. rocking, yeah. The state's best vodka, that's for sure. You know, not a non-GMO, organic, gluten-free, all that premium vodka from nothing here but in Minnesota. Everything here is homegrown, just like these two idiots whoa, over whoa, whoa. here. Three? 
Three idiots. Thank oh, you. Yeah. That's better. You Sorry. Much. Well, I was trying to give Jim the benefit of the doubt. No, you know, no, no, I, no it's, right there it's, with a, you. it's a great sip in vodka when I was making it. Trust me, I was an absolute expert. <laughs> and uh, I, I, knew what, I knew what vodka tastes good and what didn't. This is a good vodka whether you're sipping it or whether you're mixing it with anything. <laughs> All right. Guys, thank you so Thanks, much. Buddy. Really appreciate Thanks, it. Buddy. Gino, thank we'll you, see you Saturday you night, Fox yes, 9 Plus. <laughs> Western Michigan and St. Cloud State. You can come on up if you're uh, bored as well. Uh, we'll take a break.